Well, my area of focus, uh, I'm a corporate commercial lawyer. Uh, I primarily do mergers and acquisitions as well as corporate structuring work. I have a particular focus and expertise in partnership law and trust law, uh, as well as corporate law, um, in particular the Business Corporations Act in BC, as well as the Canada Business Corporations Act. You know, I started at the firm way back in 2002 as an articling student. Um, I was lucky enough to work with some tremendous lawyers at the firm who got me involved in some great transactions. Um, I really enjoy the team aspect of how we do things at Lawson Lindell. Um, it was great to have that client interaction and you know it's, things just kind of flowed from there. The years have gone by and I've uh, really enjoyed what I do and uh, it's always a, a new challenge every day. You know my clients in terms of um, them working with me I think they really appreciate the fact that I take charge of the whole matter. I don't just do a piece and have them try to, uh, you know, deal with a, a multitude of lawyers at the firm. I like to take care of the matter, obviously, you know, get expertise from others as needed, but make sure that I've always got the pulse of the transaction and I'm making sure that um, I've always got the bigger picture in mind and the end goal in mind. Yeah, there's been a lot of great people at Lawson Lindell that have influenced my career and, and, and taught me many things over the years. Uh, there's a couple of people in particular, uh, Rita Andrioni, uh, a partner with the firm who I've had the pleasure of working with for the last uh, 12 years or so. Uh, Rita and I uh, started uh, working together on a very large uh, transaction for an institutional client of the firm and um, you know we've worked closely together ever since. Uh, she has really instilled in me the value of client service. Um, and, and by client service, I don't mean, you know, just the legal work um, and, and providing a work product at the end of the day, but rather uh, the other aspects that go into to fully servicing a client, things like, you know, getting back to clients on a timely, in a timely way, answering voicemails in a timely fashion, being responsive, uh, you know, and, and a lot of times you're not always going to have the answer right away, but I think it's really important that um, you get back to people and they know that you're on it because um, in, in what we do, it's a service business and uh, you know if that service isn't there, uh, chances are the client's not going to be there for very long. Yeah, Lost and Lindell, uh, teamwork is extremely important. Um, I remember when I first uh, finished articling, we had a seminar with our managing partner and one of the first things he said was, uh, first rule of thumb if you're going to work here, clients are firm clients, not your client, not my client, not individual lawyer clients. And that really resonates throughout the firm and it continues to resonate. Uh, you know, inevitably a lot of the matters that we work on uh, are going to involve lawyers from various disciplines with various levels of expertise, expertise that I don't have uh, necessarily. And um, so I never hesitate to reach out to my partners and my colleagues in those areas to get their input, you know, to bring them in on a conference call with a client. Um, and we have a tremendous open door policy and I think that really serves the client well. Yeah, I've, I've uh, been involved on one uh, pro bono uh, effort that's been, uh, I think, extremely valuable both for me and for the organization. Uh, I was a member uh, of the board of directors of the College of Podiatric Surgeons in BC. Uh, that's a small uh, regulatory body with uh, just under 100 uh, doctors as members. Um, being a small body, uh, I was on the board when the organization was first formed and was able to uh, give a lot of input on their, their bylaws and their organizational documents as well as their internal governance uh, protocols and procedures and rules of discipline, uh, things of that nature. Um, you know, I tried to act in that capacity. Uh, although I was a board member, I tried to bring, you know, some of the legal knowledge I had to bear. You know, being a small regulatory body, um, you know, and not having the necessarily the resources to hire external counsel. Although I was sitting as a board member, I think some of those legal skills were really helpful. And I know um, members of the college who I still keep in touch with uh, really appreciated that. And, and for me, it was, it, was a, it was a wonderful experience to, to be able to give back um, uh, to an organization that I think really needed the assistance.